Hey, man, it's your boy, GSC Capo. Smash that like and subscribe button, man. I keep getting interrupted. This part four to the R. Kelly jump, man. So I'm going to hit this play button. I don't know why they see me doing something. They just keep on talking to me. I don't know why they want to keep on interrupting my stuff. Like, <laughs> a little bit of uh, Gloria Allred and uh, uh, others speaking out after this sentence came down. Let's listen right here on Live Now from Fox. Four interruptions already. <laughs> It's my fourth, my fourth, my fourth interruption. I'm just trying to get this video done real fast, man. See this news about R. Kelly, I'm just trying to... Y'all probably gonna be mad at me. I'm like, yo, why this dude did four videos? <laughs> or it's not my fault, man. Yo, she just said he was a skilled sexual predator, bro. <laughs> Didn't I tell you these news reporters don't got no... <laughs> yeah, they got no chill button, bro. Significant emotional and sometimes physical harm on them, which in some cases will continue to hurt them for the rest of their lives. Much of the pain that they suffered because of him was evident as the victims read their victim impact statements today in court. They wanted the court to understand their pain and for the defendant to hear the harm that they've suffered as a result of the pain that he has inflicted on them. Victimized his young victims. He underestimated their. You no, know, it's crazy. I ain't even gonna hold you. I think I was like six years old. I was in a barbershop, probably seven still, too. I just see it's like I remember I got these memories. I just don't know how old I was, you know what I'm saying? But I remember I'm getting my hair cut at uh, Mariah's barbershop right down uh, Prospect. Yeah, I think that's Prospect. I know the um, Botman's at the corner of Dodd and Prospect and shit. That's the hood. You feel me? You see Dodd Town and shit. But yeah. Motherfucking, um, I'm in a uh, barbershop getting my head, my head cut. You feel me? I don't think my brother was in a barbershop at the time because I don't think they would have, uh, I don't, th I think he would have tweaked the fuck out and shit. You know what I'm saying? But this fiend dude, this fiend dude came in selling, this is when they were selling bootleg DVDs. This is back then, bro, like way back then. Like I said, I was like six, seven. I'm 28 right now, about to be 29 in July. But yeah, the fiend came in there selling bootleg DVDs. He like, hey, yo, I got that R. Kelly sex tape. I'm like, oh shit, what? Tell me why, right? My reaction was, what the fuck? Like. Having them, he said he having sex with a uh, little minor under. I'm like, what? These niggas in the barbershop wanted this shit. These niggas like, oh, oh, what, what, what? Let me get that. Let me get that, bro. A lot of you not, bro. I'm telling you, nigga turned me around because he was like, oh, you can't see this. You can't see this little hood. You know, my brother name was J Hood. You feel me? J Hood. They call him Hood too sometimes. But they called me Lil Hood because I was always around them in the streets everywhere, bro. Like, no matter what was going on, bro, this nigga had me with him. Like, because my, my mom and dad, they, they like, threw me on to him, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, my dad left said fuck us anyway. But my mom was working. You know what I'm saying? I had to take care of the bills. My brother wanted to be outside. So he like, shit, fuck it. You want to be outside with me because I'm not about to sit in the house and do nothing. But, yeah. And call me Lil Hood and shit. So it was like, he was uh, Dorian. He my nephew, uncle. Uh, that's my nephew, uncle now. You know what I'm saying? And my nephew, after my nephew been born. So, yeah. So, yeah. Nigga, that's, uh, he was like, yo, Lil Hood, you gonna have to turn around. You can't watch this because I can't have your pops coming crazy. Yeah, they know my pops would have came in there acting going stupid, nigga. Like, <sighs> nigga, he'd have whopped niggas' heads, bro. Like, nigga, fuck wrong with y'all dumbass niggas. Y'all niggas is all perverts, too. And they don't like that shit. Like, no, every all them niggas was into that. Yeah, they know that they wouldn't. They would have had to got the fuck up out of there a long time ago. I never said nothing though, cause like it wasn't my place. And it's like, man, 
I ain't, I ain't even mention that shit. I ain't even really give a fuck. I was six years old anyway, so it didn't stay in my. It was always in the back of my head, but it wasn't there for me to like always think about it. So I'd be like, "Hey, Dad," you know what I'm saying? Run up to my parents and ask them the question, and it didn't bother me. I didn't see it anyway. Like I said, they turned me around and they played that shit on TV. And they was all talking about it though, but they was mad excited. I'm like, "Yo, what type of grown men get excited to see it?" grown man pee and have pee on a little girl and have sex with a little girl like bro who wants to see that that's child pornography right there like you know what i'm saying i wasn't thinking about that at the time but you know as i got older like when i turned a teenager you know what i'm saying my mind started developing and i start understanding the world more it's like yo this niggas is crazy out here bro like you know how much people is actually with this it's people acting like they not with it bro I'm telling you, if you go back to the 2001, 1999, and years like that, bro, you're going to see mad people buying those bootleg DVDs talking about, oh, got that shit in their collection. You know how much people probably still got it in their collection? They probably ain't even saying nothing. Them niggas probably destroyed that shit because they know the feds burned down. They don't want to see people seeing it. They don't got it in the safe locked up somewhere or something like holding that nostalgia or whatever, however you pronounce that shit. Nostalgia, whatever, man, whatever, man. I don't give a damn. Don't laugh at me. Laugh. I don't even give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Hey, God knows jokey jokes. I can take like jokes. Shit, leave some comments, bro. Over here telling y'all my life and shit. Y'all don't even know me like that. I don't even care for me like that. I don't even got that much man subscribers and stuff, so. I'm over here getting like 3,000 likes, I mean 3,000 views on shorts, but hey, leave my videos high and dry, like, what am I about to be a short king or something? Like, I don't force my hand to be doing shorts, man. I ain't trying to just do straight shorts, bro. Y'all funny. Together they were yeah. able Mess with to the boy, man. by becoming empowered young women themselves, who refused to be intimidated by him and his enablers. I am proud of all of them. And there are many sacrifices made in order to bring R. Kelly finally to the bar of justice. They have succeeded in making R. Kelly suffer the consequences of his criminal acts. In addition, they are relieved that he has been sent to prison for oh, so that little girl jump. because while he hey, is bro. in custody, he that will not true. be able it is what it is. to continue to sexually he deserves the time for that shit. I don't know about all his other stuff, but hey, it seems like he can look. Anybody is capable of doing anything, bro. And now I would like to introduce some of the great uh, people who have been involved in this case. Uh, Jim Brown, who is the Director of the Office of Law Enforcement, and have provided very important information in this case. I'm going to let them give their names themselves if they wish to provide. That's why I keep sitting on it. Hello, everyone. My name is Lizette Martinez. Bruh, she really I'm just put her hand on her chest and, and said, I'm grateful that Robert Sylvester Kelly is away. Like she had to swallow her motherfucking breath so she could prepare else. for, Thank like, you. come on, bro. She ain't even fucking you crying. Really Bitch, you got some big ass shades on her face like this. My bad for saying to be over you too. My apologies. I apologize. Um, Please don't give me any strikes. This guy, um, R. Kelly, is crazy. It's just. Seeing this right here, this woman is crazy too. Because she could just, yo, know, these people could just talk without doing all of this. Like, I don't think anybody cares about how you deliver the speech, bro. Like, people like real gen genuine stuff, you know what I'm saying? We want everything to be genuine. So, like, look, Trump had no problem saying what he said, getting it on, and everybody was cheering him on, right? You just be straight up and say it and come out here doing all of that. Well, doing all that fucking fake tears and stuff, man. Good afternoon. You need all of that, bro. I am Jovante. My name is Jovante. I was about to say save it for the press, but his journey is talking to the press. I was 14 years old when I encountered Robert Sylvester Kelly. I was 14 years old when I encountered Robert Sylvester Kelly. I'm going to end it right there. 
Y'all tell me what y'all think about this, man. Like, I, I told y'all what I told y'all, and I was able to live through the time. I'd never seen... Did I see it? I think I might have seen it on LimeWire. I'm not even going to hold you. You know, LimeWire, when you looking up, you know, those videos. Yeah. And you know how Soldier Boy, uh, he had on the song, like, when you go download jay Z song or anybody's song... When you download it, it's not really Soldier Boy. I mean, it's not really Jay Z of them. It's the Soldier Boy Green Dot. Yeah, that's what they was doing on LimeWire with videos too. And one of those actually ended up being that. And I'm not mistaken. I don't know if he had on a yellow shirt or a lime green shirt. Like I have real good memory, like my childhood. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm not mistaken, it was. See, I shouldn't even been looking up. Uh, I shouldn't even been looking up them type of damn videos, you know what I'm saying? And somehow, yeah, this video was supposed to be some type of some video, and it ended up being that. And it was like, bro, what the fuck? This what they doing? Yeah, this nigga's insane. Seen it that one time, and that was that. Like, yeah, that shit is crazy, bro. But yeah, I ended up actually seeing that shit somehow online by it. Yep, random video. Didn't even know it was going to be that. I'm just looking up, you know, looking for videos to download, save to my library collection. And the title was not no R. Kelly peeing on no girl. And this, that, and it didn't even have R. Kelly name. And then damn sure ain't talk about no peeing on nobody. But it was that. So, yeah, that shit crazy, bro. Hit that like and subscribe button. Y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, this situation in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about R. Kelly doing like You think he capable of doing this? You think he really did all of that? Well, I said, I know they had that video out there for real. I was in a barbershop getting my hair cut, and they turned me around and told me I could not watch it. But, yeah, they said that was him. I got the whole look. I remember everything. But like I said, hit that like and subscribe button, man. Flame up them comments. And... I'm going to hit y'all again with another hot video, huh?